All right, bonus round. We're gonna ask each other some questions we just wrote down. Some are diabetes centric, some are not. Oh, I thought they were all diabetes centric. Well, I have, an, I have an extra one just in case. Okay, who wants to go first? How old do you think Wilfred Brimley is? Isn't he dead? I just found out he is dead. <laughs> so, um, is it how old he would be this year? Well, how old was he when he died? <laughs> 82. 85. Whoa! Yeah. Let me guess his height. Oh, Ariana, Ariana <laughs> is so good at guessing heights. Has anyone ever measured Wilfred I'm, Brimley? I don't even know what he looks like normally. I I've like, only seen him like from the chest up in commercials. I feel like you don't measure Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> okay. How tall is Wilfred Brimley? 5'11". It's 5'8". He's good, short. Good tiny little guy. If you were a diabetic, what would be the three low snacks that you would carry? Ooh, that's a good one. I would go Apollo's, good candy, some sort of dried fruit. I like that you go mangoes. I'd probably go mangoes as well. Uh, What's like your super fast acting? Sometimes eating something isn't always the fastest. So probably, yes, yeah, so they're probably something you would drink. I like orange juice. I like I like what you're doing. I like I well, like I like that you have the mangoes, you have the orange juice. I would probably throw in some apollos, Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. You guys remember Dunkaroos? I would eat Dunkaroos. Aren't those like it was Teddy like, Grahams that you dip into frosting? It was like a yeah paste. It was like a sugar paste. Um, you can't tell me that Dunkaroos would be a good. But list. so you would have orange juice with you like on a hot day. Sure. I always think it's really nice when my mom gets. Apple juice, and then she puts it in the fridge. Ariana juice still boxes. loves it at home. No, no. When we're on vacation with her, and she like puts it in the fridge, that's really nice because I keep our apple juice hot in the pantry. Because when I'm out, it's gonna get. First of all, the condensation. You, like, what would you rather chug? Would you rather chug warm orange juice, or would you rather chug apple juice? You know what's the worst warm? Lemonade. Don't ever get Ooh. lemonade juice boxes. Warm lemonade would just absolutely tastes terrible. Tastes like stomach I didn't tell her to not put it acid. in the fridge. I didn't tell <laughs> her stomach acid. Where was diabetes invented? It was in Pankos, Greece. What? Why would you tell me? <laughs> Why would you just tell me? I made that up. Here's another one I made up. You did, you did. Who was diabetes? Wait, that's not even where it was invented? I never looked it up. But look it up. What is your favorite low carb cocktail and why? I think I'm gonna go. And why? Low carb um, Paloma. How do you make it? Well, if you do it Adam style, you go LaCroix, tequila, splash of grapefruit. So a low carb cocktail. <laughs> that's the low carb cocktail. You don't. That's not just like Adam's way. It's the Adam special. <laughs> what was your favorite low snack as a kid versus what is your favorite low snack or your go to as an adult? And why was it Dunkaroos? We should get Dunkaroos. Where do you get those? The Amazon. Ugh. I'm not, not gonna. Like, uh. No. My favorite low snack as a child was probably Oreos, only because my parents like always had Oreos in the house. They still do. They they. Yeah, and they that's not my. Do. That's why it's not my favorite anymore. After every anymore. dinner, after every dinner, that 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 tray of Oreos like, comes out. It's been like 20 years, and they still have. Oreos in the pantry every time they go to the grocery store they get Oreos. I think they just like them at this point I think if you give me like a big old glass of milk I could crush an entire box of Oreos in one city. Isn't that nice to hear that some someone can do that? Oh yeah, probably insensitive never, to the viewers. I could absolutely never probably, do that. I could never to... crush you know Sorry. what we get? We get two. That's the serving size. The <laughs> serving size is two. Isn't that messed up? My favorite low snack, well currently at this very moment, so a lot of times I've been getting low in the evening before I go to bed, which could probably, I could probably just like adjust things to make sure I don't do that, but I have kind of been liking some like knockoff Fig Newtons from Trader mm -hmm. Joe's. Mm -hmm. I love Fig Newtons. They're Fib Newtons. <laughs> F-I-B, because they're not real. They're lying about their Newtons. Fib Newtons. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of that stuff. That was a good question. Name two celebrities that have type 1 diabetes. Halle Berry. Mm-hmm. Jay Cutler. Keep um, going, Does Arthur Ashe have it? I don't know had, who that is. It. It's not a had. Well, they're dead. The Wolf of Wolf Brimley. Uh -huh. Which we just found out R.I.P. R.I.P. There's a couple of hockey players, but that's part one of my questions. 
Let's see if you can name those people. Um, no, you can't Google hockey players with type one. That's part of my question. And Nick Jones. Nick Jones. That's right. A BB King. Ah. That's all I got. The BB stands for balance and bullets. <laughs> oh, oh shout out Kara. Would you rather fight a gorilla or a grizzly bear? A gorilla. He doesn't have so. claws. No, but he has fists. Yeah, but so does a grizzly bear. He also understands your human intricacies more. A grizzly bear can like take your skin off with like one. <laughs> but like a gorilla can like your face off, but it's, he has thumbs, you know? Yeah, but he could beat you in Xbox and then come kill you. Like, like a gorilla could kill you without you feeling anything because he could just like snap your neck. But like a, a bear would make it hurt because he has claws. I feel like a bear. Comment could... if you agree. I feel like the bear. <laughs> I would go gorilla also. I feel like it'd be a fair fight. I would definitely lose. I'd give it a fair shot. Give it my all. Put my heart into it. Do you think that we like could... a comment if you think I could be a gorilla in a fight? Do you think that we could ever train Duncan to be a diabetic alert dog? Absolutely not. He's plenty smart, but he doesn't apply himself. Mm. So our theory about Duncan is that he's in retirement. He's three. How many diabetic NHL players can you name? Okay, Nick Boynton. This is the ones you get. This is one you just looked up. Corey Con Conacher. That's it. Who do those guys play for? I don't know. I was thinking Max Domi. Oh yeah, Max Domi! He's type 1 diabetic. If you had, last question. Okay. Unless you come up with something else. If you had to enter an ET... I do have one. I lost something. <laughs> if you had to enter an eating contest, what would you enter? Like what food would you enter? Mm. And how many units of insulin do you think you need to take based off your projected number of... This is such a good question! I know. This is such a good question. Okay, here's my answer. It would be mac and cheese. It would be Annie's oh, yeah. mac and cheese. White cheddar shells. I would need... That's rich. Multiple insulin pens. Mm, maybe just one. Like a full one. So let's, let's quantify this. Let's say a coffee mug of macaroni and cheese. Everyone knows what a coffee mug, you know, how many ever ounces it is, but everyone can visualize a coffee mug. How many coffee mugs of a cup? No, a cup is eight ounces, right? And a coffee mug is 12. Okay. okay. How many, how many coffee mugs of macaroni and cheese and these white cheddar shells could you eat in one in a 20 minute period. How many coffee mugs? Like, just, I mean, uh, like, don't think of it as six? coffee mugs. I'm, I'm thinking of volume. Like, six or eight or ten? If you could eat ten, I don't know. Coffee mugs in 20 I just minutes? Feel like that's, that's two a minute or one every two minutes. I've never tried it. Annie's macaroni and cheese is something that I feel like I could just eat. They say that those whole boxes are family size. They're not. That's just a grown adult size. That's a grown adult size. Yeah, it's funny. Most most dishes we make split are split like 70-30 or like 60-40. There's but two that we don't. When it comes to macaroni and cheese, it is 50-50 or even maybe 60-40 this way. And what's the other dish that we have to split? We split 50-50, if not me a little more, because I make it. The beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's. <laughs> I make that one because it's easy. Yeah, but so when you whenever you make it. I don't get enough meat. I always... I give you more broccoli. Give, I know. I give you more broccoli when I make it. Wow. Because it seems fair. Secrets out. But yeah. I get more <laughs> I'm kind of boring, but I could probably eat two extra large pizzas in one sitting. I could definitely do hot wings. So it looks like um, there's type 1 diabetic competitive eaters. What? How do they do that? Couldn't be me. If you were to own one of these animals, would you prefer a chameleon? Or would you prefer a bearded dragon? Is it like a myth or a stereotype that chameleons actually can change their skin color based off their environment? If, if the chameleon actually conformed to its surroundings, color-wise, I would get a chameleon all day because I would just like put different, like I'd go to Sherman Williams and get a bunch of paint swatches and see what his range was. This is pearl white. Let's see it. I'm asking Morgan if her chameleon cheese. What would you rather have? A chameleon or a... Well, it depends on the answer. 
this new, if it's a chameleon that changes colors. But do, colors. do you think bear, like bear dragons are really cool? I don't what, about a, what about a frog? I don't want a frog. Gross. What about like the cool one, like toad? Or what about the toad? Toady toad? Toby toad? Toby toad. I don't want a frog. Those are gross. But Toby toad, he has so much personality. Is this interesting? <laughs> no, it's not. If you had to have a zoo animal as a pet, what would you pick? A monkey. After you just said a gorilla would kill you, you want a monkey? Yeah, I don't want a gorilla. What would yours be? I want a bison. You keep saying that, but like, you don't, you wouldn't even actually touch it. I don't want to touch it, I respect it. Okay, but then you don't need to own it. Monkeys are dumb. No, they're very intelligent creatures. That's true. I actually saw a video of a guy who owns, a, he he lives with a bison, a buffalo. I don't know the difference. Buffalo is the bigger one, the buffalo one. Buffalo? Buffalo and bison are not the same thing. They're not. But he lives with one. I'm an old And it walks around his house. Oh, like, oh, Morgan said. I asked her, um, does your chameleon change colors? She said yes, crying smiley face, but not like rainbow colors. He's still young too, so the brighter colors haven't fully developed. <laughs> he has to learn them? That's cute. He has to learn them. Back to my story about the guy with the bison in his house. Where is this? It's some, it's some guy who lives with, with one of those things. He lives with one. It's part of his, it's his pet. Okay, we're, we're gonna watch the guy who lives with buffalo right after this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We're Bye. Gonna, we're gonna watch a video of a guy who lives with a buffalo in his house. If you want to see it, it's called <laughs> Buffalo in the House from the BBC One. BBC British Buffalo Channel.